Have you ever read an essay that totally captivated you? One that kept you glued to the page, eager to see what the writer would say next? That's the power of engaging writing. It's not just about getting a good grade or impressing your teacher. It's about connecting with your reader, sharing your thoughts and ideas in a way that resonates and inspires. Whether you're writing for school, work, or even just for yourself, the ability to craft compelling essays is an invaluable skill. It allows you to communicate effectively, persuade others, and leave a lasting impact. In this interactive guide, we'll explore the key elements of writing engaging essays. From crafting captivating introductions to building coherent paragraphs and ending with a strong conclusion, we'll cover it all. Are you ready to transform your writing from bland to brilliant? Let's dive in. What do you find most challenging about writing introductions? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The introduction is your first impression, your chance to grab the reader's attention and make them want to keep reading. A strong introduction sets the tone for your entire essay and should leave the reader intrigued and eager to learn more. But how do you actually write an introduction that hooks your reader from the first sentence? Here are a few techniques that can help you achieve just that. Start with a question. A thought-provoking question can pique the reader's curiosity and encourage them to think critically about your topic. This method works well because it engages the reader's mind right from the start. Use a surprising statistic or fact. A shocking or unexpected piece of information can immediately grab the reader's attention. Statistics can provide a concrete foundation for your argument and make your reader want to know more. Tell a brief anecdote. A short relatable story can draw the reader in and create an emotional connection. Personal stories or anecdotes make your writing more relatable and human. State a bold claim. Making a strong statement right off the bat can make your reader sit up and take notice. Bold claims can be controversial or thought-provoking, which can be very effective in engaging your audience. Remember, your introduction should be concise, engaging, and relevant to your essay's main argument. It's a preview of what's to come, not the whole show. Now that you know the secrets to crafting captivating introductions, let's move on to the body of your essay. But before we do, I'm curious, what do you find most challenging about writing introductions? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback can help others who are struggling with the same issues. Many people find writing introductions to be the most challenging part of essay writing. It can feel like a lot of pressure to come up with something engaging and relevant right off the bat. Some common struggles include finding the right hook, keeping it concise, and making sure it connects to the rest of the essay. Don't worry, it's completely normal to find introductions a bit tricky. The good news is that, with practice, you can master the art of crafting captivating introductions that will hook your readers every time. Now, let's move on to building the foundation of your essay, The Body Paragraphs. The body paragraphs are where you develop and support your essay's main argument. These paragraphs are the heart of your essay, providing the evidence and analysis that back up your thesis. Each paragraph should focus on a single idea that contributes to your overall thesis statement. This focus ensures that your essay remains coherent and persuasive. Think of each body paragraph as a building block together. They create a solid and cohesive structure for your essay. Just like a well-built structure, your essay needs a strong foundation and clear organization. But how do you ensure that each paragraph is clear, focused, and effective? This is where the importance of topic sentences comes into play. The answer lies in the power of topic sentences. These sentences guide your reader through your argument, making it easier to follow. A topic sentence is like a mini thesis statement for each paragraph. It encapsulates the main point you want to make in that section. It introduces the main idea of the paragraph and provides a roadmap for the information that follows. This roadmap helps your reader understand the direction of your argument. A strong topic sentence should be clear and concise. It should leave no doubt about the paragraph's main idea. State the main idea of the paragraph directly. Specific. It should focus on a single aspect of your argument without being too broad. Focus on a single aspect of your argument. Relevant. It should clearly connect back to your essay's thesis statement, reinforcing your main argument. Clearly connect back to your essay's thesis statement. This connection ensures that your essay remains unified and on track. By starting each paragraph with a strong topic sentence, you'll ensure that your ideas are presented in a logical and easy to follow manner. This logical flow is crucial for maintaining your reader's interest and understanding. 
What are your biggest challenges when it comes to writing strong topic sentences? Do you struggle with clarity, specificity, or relevance? Let me know in the comments. Your feedback can help others improve their writing skills too. Section 5. Supporting your claims, the art of providing details. Now that you've laid the groundwork with your topic sentence, it's time to back up your claims with solid evidence. This is a crucial step in making your argument persuasive and credible. This is where supporting details come in. They are the backbone of your argument. Supporting details are the facts, statistics, examples, and anecdotes that you use to illustrate and validate your points. These elements add depth and clarity to your writing. They provide the meat of your paragraph and convince your reader that your argument is valid. Without them, your claims may seem baseless or unconvincing. When choosing supporting details, always ask yourself, is this relevant? Does it directly relate to my topic sentence? Does this information directly support my topic sentence? Is this credible? Credibility is key to gaining your reader's trust. Is this information accurate and from a trustworthy source? Is this engaging? Engaging details keep your reader interested and invested in your argument. Will this information keep my reader interested? Engaging content is more likely to be remembered and appreciated. Remember, the goal is to create a compelling and convincing argument. Your supporting details should work together to build a strong case. Choose details that are both informative and engaging, and present them in a way that is clear, concise, and easy to understand. Clarity ensures your reader can follow your argument without confusion. How do you ensure that your supporting details are relevant, credible, and engaging? It's a skill that takes practice and attention to detail. Share your strategies in the comments. Your insights could help others improve their writing. Section 6. Your Turn Detail Dilemmas Many writers struggle with finding the right balance between providing enough detail and overwhelming the reader. It's important to strike a balance between being informative and concise, ensuring that your details support your claims without derailing your overall argument. Remember, it's always better to provide a few strong and relevant details than to bombard your reader with a bunch of unnecessary information. Now, let's move on to the glue that holds your paragraphs together, transitions. Section 7. Creating flow transitions between paragraphs. Transitions are the words and phrases that connect your paragraphs and create a smooth, logical flow of ideas. They act like bridges, guiding your reader from one point to the next without any bumps or detours. Without transitions, your essay can feel choppy and disjointed, like a collection of unrelated thoughts rather than a cohesive argument. Here are a few types of transitions and how to use them. Adding information. Furthermore, moreover, in addition, similarly. Contrasting ideas. However, on the other hand, conversely, nevertheless. Showing cause and effect, therefore, as a result, consequently, thus. Illustrating examples. For example, for instance, specifically, to illustrate. Summarizing or concluding. In conclusion, to summarize ultimately, therefore. By using a variety of transitions, you can create a seamless reading experience that allows your ideas to flow naturally from one to the next. What are your biggest challenges when it comes to using transitions effectively? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Section 8. Your Turn Transition Troubles Many writers struggle with using transitions effectively. Sometimes it can be difficult to find the right transition to fit the context, or it can be tempting to overuse the same few transitions repeatedly. Remember, the key is to use transitions thoughtfully and strategically. Choose transitions that accurately reflect the relationship between your ideas and avoid using the same transition too many times in close proximity. Now, let's move on to the grand finale, the conclusion. Section 9. Wrapping it up. Crafting a conclusion that sticks. The conclusion is your final opportunity to leave a lasting impression on your reader. It's not just a summary of your main points, it's a chance to reiterate your argument, emphasize its significance, and leave your reader with something to ponder. Here are a few tips for crafting a strong conclusion. Restate your thesis. Briefly remind the reader of your main argument. Summarize your main points. Highlight the key takeaways from your essay. Offer a final thought. End with a thought-provoking question, a call to action, or a memorable statement. Remember, your conclusion should be concise, impactful, and leave your reader with a sense of closure. Now for our final question, which part of essay writing do you enjoy the most? 
Section 10, Your Turn Essay Enjoyment. From brainstorming ideas to crafting captivating introductions, from building solid body paragraphs to wrapping it all up with a memorable conclusion, there are many different aspects to essay writing. Which part of the process do you find the most enjoyable? Share your thoughts in the comments below. At section 11, share your thoughts. Thank you for joining me on this interactive journey through the world of essay writing. I hope you found these tips helpful and feel inspired to put them into practice. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts. Leave a comment below. What are your biggest takeaways from this guide? Which tips are you most excited to try? What other writing challenges would you like me to address? Take the survey. I've created a short survey to gather your feedback and learn more about your essay writing experiences. Your responses will help me create even more helpful content in the future. I can't 